Right, we're going to look at some very early Bowie um, content now in magazines. Um, he wasn't obviously very often on the cover, in fact very rare, but I'm just going to look at some stuff from my collection that goes back to the 1960s rather than the 70s. So we'll start with this one, which is Fabulous Magazine from the 2nd of October 1965. Um, and as you can see, we've got the stones on the front here, and the shadows as well here, Cliff Richard. So, in here, it was a shilling, which is 5p by the way, is a very small picture of Bowie doing a modelling job. And there he is with a violin. And it says here Davy Jones stands up in a casual knit shirt and elephant corduroy slacks from John Stephen. And then also talks about what this lady's got on as well. So that's very early Bowie, 1965, <coughs> in this magazine. And that is the end of the Bowie content in there, but obviously I had to add it to my collection because it's so early. And one of the first things really that probably appeared in print in, in a national um, magazine. So the magazine does feature, obviously, this is the birds here, other bands. That's Michael Crawford, who's an actor. So that's the sort of content. And he got tiny little space, and obviously turned out to be bigger than any of these people. So that's the first one I wanted to show you. The next one is again Fabulous 208 and 5P again. And Teen Power, this is the 30th of September 1967. Now this it's got a bit more Bowie content. Nice picture of him there. And he happens to share a page with Twiggy, which is rather ironic. Um, <clears throat> and it's Bowie bowing to age, simply because he has just hit his 20th birthday here. Um, and it's just a bit about him. And it says, David left school at 16, having passed his O-levels, which I'm not sure about that. I think he only got a couple from, my, from memory. Um, and three A-levels. Well, he definitely didn't pass three A-levels, so I don't quite know what happened there. So it's not a very accurate um, report there, um, or maybe Mr. Bowie's um, enlarging on things. Um, and they're talking about team power, and he says there is no such thing as team power. Um, and he hopes to go to Tibet studying Eastern philosophy. Um, I don't expect that I will have enough money to retire exactly, but money doesn't mean all that much to me. One thing's for sure, David may not be rich or at the top of the charts, but in one sense he has teen power. He thinks for himself, and that is and that is what all swinging teenagers are doing. So there you go. So that's an early one of Bowie again. Some small photos of him there as well. Moving on to the next one. Again, Fabulous 208, you seem to love him. I love this cover with that waistcoat. And this is the 29th of November 1969. And out of space, out of sight with Bowie. And despite having different coloured eyes and a hit with that way out number space oddity, David Bowie seems very normal. That's that one. And moving on to the next one. This is Fabulous 208 again. <coughs> this is David and Ange enjoying um, their Sunday, uh, sorry, their Christmas dinner. This is the 27th of December 1969. Um, great cover that one. Don't see that around very often. It's probably quite expensive to buy these days if you can find it. The only content in there is this tiny piece at the, down the bottom here which says R Cover Nosh, which is here. And it says, if you hadn't already guessed, it's David Bowie tucking into the turkey on our cover. The lovely lady with him is his girlfriend Angela Barnett, and the whole festive feast was laid on especially for Fab. At Rule's famous restaurant in Maiden Lane, just off the Strand in London's West End. So there we are, Fabulous 208, 27th of December 1969. And then we've got Rave magazine with Marianne Faithful on the cover. And this is January, I think it was 1970 from memory. And really good article on Bowie in this one. Was talking about the fact that he doesn't seem to think he's very well adjusted and that he's felt that he spent too long philosophizing. 
and he's always been an old man rather than a teenager. Um, but great picture of Bowie there. Obviously the cigarette smoke coming out because he always had a cigarette, didn't he? And a bit more on the next page as well. It's basically a Q&A interview with him. So again, really nice magazine, quite rare again these days. And the next one is Princess Tina. I'm not going to go through all of these. But he did appear in a lot of girls' comics and magazines at the time. <clears throat> and Jackie was one of those. And this is January the 31st, 1970. And there he is, The Secret of My Lost Year, face to face with David Bowie. Again, it's an interview with him. Um, and they ask him whether he writes his own material. Is he superstitious? Have you continued, the, continued your interest in theatre? And do you expect to stay in pop music for a long time? And who could have thought it, eh? Nice Highlands feature there as well, look. So that's that one. And Mirabelle, very retro cover there. This is 7th of March 1970 and it was eight pence. And where it's at, for Mr. David Bowie, a super cool guy. And there he is. It's not exactly an interview, but um, he just tells us about his life, about his fans, about success and about girls. So he says here, it's personality that appeals to me most. I couldn't care if she had protruding teeth and looked like Dracula. As long as I got on well with her, I wouldn't mind. Don't know whether that's true. Doesn't strike me that a man looks anything like that. So I think that was it on that one. Yeah, it's those two pages there. And Diana magazine. Um, <clears throat> well, it's hardly a magazine. It's more of a girl's comic, really. Now, Diana, Mag uh, Diana Comic featured him several times, sometimes in a very um, small corner of the, paper, of, uh, of the comic, but quite often as well, and quite a decent feature. So this one is really lovely. Um, again, we included this in issue one of the fanzine, obviously on a much smaller scale. So what happened was that um, Diana Magazine sent a photographer to Haddon Hall and took all these. And um, there's a small article here. Um, got him at home playing his guitar and the piano. Um, and some really original, great photos on that one. So if you see this for sale, and I happen to know there's one on eBay at the moment, and I don't think the seller knows exactly what they've got, because on the eBay advert, when you look at the cover again, they haven't put that David Bowie is in the contents. And at the moment, the price on eBay is about £45, which is a buy it now, I think. And it's worth every penny of that, I can tell you. And it's in pretty good condition, the one on eBay. It's been there a little while, been there several weeks. So worth picking up if you can, because that is a very rare article. And I think finally we'll go Diana again. And this one is the 13th of May, 1972. Not as rare as the one we've just been through, but you get half an hour with David Bowie, the singer and composer. Um, <clears throat> so it asks straightforward sort of questions. Where were you born? Uh, where were you educated? How did your musical interest start? And he mentions Little Richard there as well. And he mentions his, his dad as well. So a fairly straightforward little article there. But again, quite a nice one. And pretty scarce, I'd say. So we'll carry on in a second, I'll upload another video and we'll go through a few more of these in here.